I couldn't turn the the rear hub, but now it turns. So that's definitely the problem. Pump the gas out. That's just a filler to so you don't overfill it. See if I can see in there. Can't see in there. Okay, so I'm going to put new gas in, I'm going to put some sea foam in, and uh, run that through a few times, see if that clears it up. Clean the air filter. I gotta fix this little cap. Somebody busted the ends off. I had no idea how to put it on, I guess. Oh. It doesn't stay on there anymore. Figure something out. I'll deal with it later. Don't want to choke myself out in here. So yeah, she kind of smoky in here. <laughs> I try and blow some of that uh, smoke out of here. Should have done it outside, but I haven't got the wheels on yet. All right, I got uh, EBC brakes for this thing. I've always had good luck with EBC. I'm just going to try and get these pins out of here to pull the, push the calipers down a little bit. I've got to get these two pins out of here, which are Allen 5 mil. Pads come right out. A lot of dirt and mud in there. I'll spray that up. Wasn't much left on the brake pads. 
like barely a sixteenth. New ones are a little better. I yeah, still got a little bit of crud in there. I'm gonna clean it up better. Alright, there's one set of front brakes. I'll spray down the whole thing with brake cleaner. Alright, so both sets of front brakes are done. New pads on them. Everything else is done. Now we're going to tackle the the rear brake cables. All right, at least in the uh, the wing nuts off on both brakes. And before I couldn't turn the the rear hub, but now it turns. So that's definitely the problem. One of the cables is seized. So we're going to have to take it out and try and clean it up. Otherwise, replace it. Okay, so I got the brakes off the end. This one was easy because it does move. This is the handbrake one. All I got to do is slide it and get get the cable to the groove and pop it out. I'm going to take that one out. It does move, but slowly. So I'm going to take it as far up as I can. And then throw some cable, cable lube in there. This one on the rear brake pedal. I got to take off the little cotter pin there and take that bracket off. And then I got one more, which doesn't want to, because the cable doesn't move. I had a tough time taking this, getting this end out, because the cable doesn't want to slide at all in there. 
So that short little one's got to come out and I can work on it there. And this one, all I got to do is bring it up as high as I can and then fill her up with lube and start activating it. Lots of fun. Got that cotter pin out. Had to go through down in there to, to reach it. But at least that pin is out. Now, cable's free except for that one spot. Yeah, I got the, uh, the hand cable out all the way up to the neck here. So I'll be able to hold this up in the air and uh, pump fluid into it and pump the brake at the same time. So, I don't know if I recorded it properly, but I got the, the rear short one out of there. With great difficulty, the little C-clip was holding it there. Found the C-clip though, went flying, but I found it. So gonna pump some cable lube into this one too. It's just a short one, so it should be pretty good, pretty easy. So I got cable lube. I do have one of those cable lubers, but I don't they don't work with this one. And I don't find that they work very good with any of them actually. So all we can do with this one is try and fill it with lube until it oh, Fill it with lube until it uh, starts draining down to the other end. And I'll just hold it up in the air. Alright, so I'm trying with the, the luber thing, but it don't work that great. Hang her, hanging her up and letting her drain down inside. And the handbrake I've got hanging up from the door opener. <laughs> so I'm going to let it drain down into there. A little crude, but yeah, hopefully it'll work. All right, I'm still working on the uh, brakes, brake cables, trying to free them up. Did a quick clean job on everything. All the oils are changed now. Everything's done, except for the uh, brake cables. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to retire the the rear brake cable, the pedal cable. Might have to look into a new one. I got it free. It's moving, but it's it's rough. It's not smooth. So more than likely it'll just seize up again. So I'll look into a new one of that. Front one I'm going to have to uh, work with. It's It was fairly loose to begin with, so hopefully it'll be smoother. Yeah, I've run the uh, the handbrake line back. It's fairly loose. Run it back to here. I'll wait till I get the other cable. I'll run them both back in there. But aside from that, everything else is done on this thing. One funny thing here is where the sticker is peeled up here. That's the actual color of the uh, camo. <laughs> Before years and years of sun fade. And you know what? I like this sun fade look better. It almost looks new. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Alright, well, I put the wheels back on. I'm still waiting for the brake cable for the rear. Uh, I took it outside and ran it a bit. It, uh, it got a little bit better. It's still stumbling a bit. Uh, I'm not sure that it's going to totally get better. So, <laughs> I might have to tear it apart a bit. One thing I gotta do is take the belt cover off. I wanna check out the belt that's in there. I ordered a new belt. Probably have to clean the clutches up. So I think she's still gonna need a little bit more work. 